I've always been fascinated and inspired by space. I know I'm not alone in feeling such a sense of peace whenever I look up to the night sky. I know kids love space too, and with all the free stories that we offer at Storyberries, it's fair to say we have a lot of space stories. New Sphere Organisation, an NGO in Ukraine, originally reached out to me shortly after the war began about translating some of the space stories at Storyberries into Ukrainian to help act as a diversion for all the kids affected by the terrible events. This led me to explore their site, where I found they'd been doing some drawing competitions over the past few years and had collected all these beautiful illustrations that the Ukrainian children had been doing of space. They had such amazing talent and I could see in their pictures such an optimism that I felt must never be lost. I felt it was such a beautiful, precious thing, this sense of hope and inspiring creativity. So I asked if I could write a book with those pictures to give these kids something further to be proud of, a book of their own that would show their amazing talents. I also didn't just want to create any old story about space. I just felt the pictures were so special and the current political circumstances so profound that the children deserved a book that they might turn to when things were hard, much as we all turn to the night sky when seeking sense in a senseless universe. I saw one of the kids had drawn a space hotel. I started thinking about the idea of a hotel as a sanctuary, as a place where you go when you need to rest and recharge. And how in space, to kids, it would seem that you could do almost anything in a space hotel. You could bring all the things that you love from Earth and you could also have the pleasure of creating something completely new and maybe better than you ever did before. And I also felt that there was this kind, if there was this kind of hotel, it must belong to the kids, the children of Ukraine and the children all around the world who wanted to share their dreams and inspiration with them. In writing this book, I wanted to send the kids a message that they inspire us and we know that they can do anything they set their mind to. To all the readers of Ukrainian Space Hotel, I want to thank you for sharing these beautiful pictures and this story, either reading it free at Storyberries or purchasing the book through New Sphere in support of their projects that keep Ukrainian children inspired with science and creativity. And most of all, I hope this book might remind us that we are all tiny specks in the vast impossible magic of space. Let us never forget that it's that magic that binds us all together.